Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, and today I'll be returning to my series in explaining the world of aliens. Today we're looking at the Caterpillar P5000 Power Loader, as seen first in Aliens and then expanded upon in various other medias. Now, as stated before, all of this information is actually taken directly from Alien The Blueprints, a fantastic book which I will have linked down below. Now, the Caterpillar P5000 power loaders, also known as CAT powered loaders, are known for their superior multifunction capability, excellent visibility, and heavy duty load relocation. Now, the CAT P5000 series power loader features a new, more efficient power system, an upgraded hydraulic system for greater reliability and significantly more lift at full reach than previous models. It now has an improved front access operator's cab and enlarged roll cage for safe use, including a reinforced perforated shield for extra protection overhead. Now, interestingly enough, these are all things which were pivotal in Ripley being able to tackle the Alien Queen in Aliens. Now, from top to bottom, the P5000 power loader has a comms antennae, a security warning light, the roll cage and head shield, and over to the shoulders, it has an arm upper load bearing points, along with reinforced steel framework, operated joysticks on the handles. Now adjacent to the roll cage, there is in fact a portable welding unit. And as we go down, there is the operator harness, operator protective cushioning, ankle hydraulic actuator, along with various leg hydraulic actuators and ankle bearings. Now obviously the P5000 power loader had vice manipulators, but interestingly enough, as I said, this is a aesthetic design that has been taken into various other medias. And in the AVP2 game, the power loader is also commandeered and redesigned by the Marines and the mercenaries to be a form of combative unit. But that is a video for another day. Now the gyro stabilized chassis prevents toppling of the power loader while stationary and under load. The gyros of which can be rotated rapidly out of phase in order to decouple the chassis stabilization system along determined axis of motion and provide the necessary instability for bipedal movement. Additionally, stability can also be provided by bolting up to 250 kilograms of concrete ballast to the chassis underside for very heavy lifting work. For any large cargo and heavy ordnance transported and used by the United States Colonial Marines and throughout the United America's Allied Command, chances are that the P5000 power loader is used as the primary loader vehicle. It is almost the futuristic version of a forklift truck. Capable of handling loads of up to 4,000 kilograms, it is a reliable and rugged alternative to conventional forklifts, rigs, and cranes suitable for operations out in the field or within the workshop. There is a reinforced steel framework which makes up the chassis of the P5000 with two upper load bearing points for the arms. Articulated legs are attached by two semi-universal bearings to either side of the chassis and the knee bearings are located just directly below. Movement is provided by hydraulic actuators at the arms, legs and ankles. The arms are attached to the top of the chassis by a pair of complex bearings stressed to operate under loadings of up to 4,000 kilograms. Linear motors control the arm motions with movement along the X axis provided by a series of hydraulic actuators. At the end of each arm is a set of vice manipulators which can be opened and closed by the operator around a load and can rotate a full 360 degrees. Attachment points for maintenance tools such as cutters or welders are situated on the manipulator. Considerable practice is required to use a power loader efficiently and safely with the equivalent of a class 2 civilian cargo handling license is needed to operate them in USCM service. 
To operate a power loader, it requires sureness and economy of movement, since hesitancy and exaggerated motion tend to place undue stress on the load-bearing joints. Despite this, it is clear that a well-trained operator and power loader units are well-placed to continue to provide essential logistical and operation support for many years to come. Now, interestingly enough, Caterpillar and the P5000 power loader also allows the vice manipulators to be interchanged, changed with alternative attachments that are tailor-made to the specific requirements of the UAAC and the USCM. This enhances the productivity and also the utility of the P5000 making it the go-to product for the UAAC and the USCM, hence why it is so widely used and so widely known within the United Allied America Alliance. And for my own personal opinion, the design itself is incredibly iconic. It looks like a humanoid JCB. It's one of those designs which instantly jumps out, and again, its inclusion in the final battle is one of pure genius. We see it, of course, introduced in the incredibly sassy line from Ellen Ripley as she gets in there and says, where do you want it? All of this is fantastic. It's a great introduction to the piece of equipment to then later be seen again with another incredible iconic line of get away from her, you bitch. It's just a fantastic, fantastic piece of science fiction and again it's one of those machines which you look at and you go yeah no this this could be a reality at one point down the line I don't think there's any doubt in a lot of people's minds that this could be made and I'm fairly certain there are again not to this degree anyway but there are prototypes out there of a similar standard uh, so yeah from my own personal perspective this is a piece of pure genius it's one of those things which just screams iconic and I believe it's iconic because it's grounded in reality. Now, science fiction is, with the clues in the name, it is science and it is fiction. I think with respect to most sci-fi products and sci-fi uh, inventions in terms of movies and, and such, they have iconic pieces of kit within them because they can be a reality. The power loader itself as a concept is not that far-fetched. And I think that is why it is so iconic. You look at it, and it undoubtedly could work. It's something which can be a reality. A little bit of ingenuity here and there, a little bit of a technological leap, and obviously, you know, a lot of funding. But that's why it works, because it is grounded in reality. And it is not an item that is so, so far-fetched that you look at it and it, it couldn't possibly happen. This is a product with some funding that could actually happen. I did a video a few weeks back on the APC, the armoured personnel carrier that they have in Aliens. Again, another piece of iconic cinema, uh, the addition to the cinema. Anyway, that APC looks so great and is so iconic because it could be a reality. It's one of those things that is so close yet so far, and that's why people think they are so good. And anyway, that's my, that's my personal thoughts on why the power loader, as well as the APC, have become such iconic pieces of cinema now and i think the fact that it has crossed over into so many medias really does go to show that yeah it is an iconic piece of kit so what did you think of the caterpillar p5000 power loader did you think it was somewhat dumb when you first saw it in aliens and have you seen its various other forms and recirculation of the aesthetic into the other medias further down the line let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section if you are new here make sure you do hit subscribe because you can stay up to date on the world of pop culture, movie news, and then these, these little deep dives into lore by hitting the bell notification icon. If you want to support the channel further, then please do go and check out my Teespring store. It is linked underneath every single video. You can check out a wide range of one-off special designs designed for me by my graphic designer. Also, you can check out my Patreon page, which is linked down below in the description box. But that being said, also just give this video a like and a share. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Mr. H. Take care.